on Facebook. Y'all, we're gonna hop right into it. Let's talk about Murrows. Let's talk about Murrows. Let's talk about Murrows. All right, it's 2023, and a lot of people has been making this a trendy topic. The Murrows, the debate on Murrows, are they dying down? Are they still worth it? All right. So I could record myself, but I just rather record my dogs to give y'all something you know else to watch other than me. Uh, they they ready to eat y'all. Y'all can see it's 9 a.m. in the morning. We got beef cooking, broccoli. We got the rice, beef over here. We got the chicken cooking in the air fryer. For Indigo, he likes his chicken. Flip that around for him. All right, y'all, let's talk about Merle's. Are they still worth it? And are they dying down? Are they still trendy? This is my personal opinion with the Merle's, you guys. All right. I personally think that Merle's is, is two aspects of this whole topic. You speaking on people who just want to buy Merle's just because they like them. And you speaking on people who have Merle's because they are breeders and they want to sell Merle's. All right. So... I think for me personally, as y'all can see, I don't have Merle's. I started with a mentor. All right? I always have been in love with English Bulldogs, but I just started learning more about Frenchies and my journey of being in love with English Bulldogs. So I ended up getting a mentor around the time that I got my first Frenchie. So, you know, my mentor gave me the most positive and most influential advice on starting out you need to get you a fund and make sure that it carries something that's very you know delicate and that's exactly what i did i got indigo and he is a fun he's a blue carrier a tan carrier whatever however you want to call it i'll drop a picture of his dad uh, and his mom so make a long story short you guys to answer the question on if the Merles are still popular or are they dying out, I think no. I personally, I think that the Merles are not going to die down for some time. To me, Merles are kind of like Michael Jordan tennis shoes. We can hate on it all we want to. As y'all can see, I have two nice dogs. I actually just um, got a blue Grinchy. And he's only about three weeks old right now. So he'll be home, you know, in about a month and another week. So, uh, but I just started, you know, crossing over to the exotics and getting the exotic colors because it's a lot that goes into the Merle. And we'll talk about that later on in this video. But right now, I just do want to touch bases on, I don't think that the Merle's, the trend is going to die. A lot of people talk about, the Merle trend is going to die real soon. And we've been saying that same shit about Michael Jordan tennis shoes. And I got uh, 20, 30 of them in the closet. And I don't even wear, you know, Michael Jordan shoes a lot. But it's just a trend and we all hate on. We talk about people who stand in these lines. And I get it. You know what I'm saying? I get it. Like, you know, people standing in line for Michael Jordan tennis shoes. Coming out with the same colors. And... You know, uh, he's just dropping different color waves on the same tennis shoe and people are still buying it. And that is exactly why I tell you all that the Merle game is not going to die from no time soon. A lot of people, they don't even know about, you know, the behind the scenes of breeding these dogs. They don't know anything about structure, but they know color. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, that is the, that's the, I don't know if you want to call it the downside or if you want to call it the, 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 I don't know what you want to call this, but this is when the page turns, all right? Because there are a lot of different murals that I have saw out. And when I say different murals, I mean a lot of bad murals. You know what I'm saying? I've saw so many murals that just have you know, so many health conditions. They look like something is wrong with them. You know, some of them are blind. Some of them, you know, tongue is just hanging out the mouth. Some of them, they just, man, they, they something you can just tell. They, they just have, 
you know, problems. All right, so when you talk about Merle's, all dogs look very good when they're puppies. You know what I'm saying? All dogs look very good when they're about a month old, two, three months old. The little ears are just sticking up and popping up. But when you start seeing these dogs at a year old, two years old, that's when you really start seeing how they develop. And a lot of Merles that I have been seeing lately and just even in the past, they aren't really structured Merles. So people just kind of went based upon color. But that also leads to the Michael Jordan you know what I'm saying? Story that I just told about how people really don't care about things that are being copied or repeated. They just kind of go for what's popular. And, and that's what leads to the murals are going to always kind of be popular because b before you even realize, you know what I'm saying, the structure. No, no, you guys, before you even realize the structure on the murals, you've already, you know what I'm saying, by, been blinded by just the beauty of the color, you know what I'm saying? They they just have an amazing coat with the patches on them and you know they have just so many different varieties. So just to answer anyone's question to if they're good investments, I most definitely think that a Merle would be a good investment for anyone's program. No no you guys. But there but but this is the thing you but this is the thing. You have to go you have to go hey no no the thing about that is this, you guys. Mama, you have to go find a very good breeder who has a, the right structured murals. Like this, just like me, you guys. I started out with a fun and I waited. I've been I've had so many opportunities to get so many other Frenchies since I've had him. Just so many people have reached out with so many opportunities and I'm very big on, you know, structure, you guys. So even if you add a Merle to your account, make sure it's a structured Merle. You don't want to add just a Merle that will eventually, you know, grow to be very, very tall and lanky. That's not the Merle that you want, you guys. You want you want to get a structured Merle. So that way, you know, if you are in the breeding game, at least you will have a respectable Merle. At least you will have a Merle that everyone respects. But back to the question, I don't think anytime soon the Merle game is going to die because, in fact, people are still demanding Merles. That's what people want right now. They're in a high demand. So just a second. Yeah, my phone just, uh, just went dead. So, yeah, you guys, Merle's almost definitely in the high demand. Um, there are a lot of people who recognize my dog, Indigo, and they say, damn, that is a very structured Frenchie. You know, he's very small. He's very compact. You know what I'm saying? He has good temperament. He's just laid back and chill. So a lot of people will see my dog, and they will most definitely give me props, all right? But nevertheless, you guys... The average Joe ain't really ain't really fucking with just the regular coats. The average Joe would prefer. Who just making sure that this is one thing. The average Joe would most definitely prefer. You know what I'm saying? Um, color over structure. People are out there getting color over structure. So what you want to do is. You want to go out there and find a Merle. Yeah, this is how I feed them. You want to, it'll probably get them like a little bit more. Yeah, you want to go out there and find a Merle that, uh, you know, got that structure. You know what I'm saying? Hope this video helped. Is there anything else I wanted to say? Yeah, that's it, you guys. Like Indigo. You could take, you could take a structure dog. My personal advice, take a structured dog like Indigo and breed him to a Merle. I would suggest you breed him to a structured Merle, but let's just say if you can't find a structured Merle, all right? Well, you take a dog that's structured like Indigo, they about ready to eat, so I gotta go, you guys. But you take a structured dog like Indigo, and man, you, uh, 
you breed it to a merle. That's what you do. And hope you will get 50%. You know what I'm saying? You'll get 50 50. You'll get 50%. Some heavy hitters, and you might, get, you know, you'll get 50% of, you know, what you pushed out with your, with your merle. So I hope this video helped you guys. Y'all got to forgive me. My, um, uh, A little thing just broke so i couldn't really have this held up because it did just break on me so i kind of been distracted the whole video but i still did get my point across on are the merles dying no they're not dying invest in the merle if that's what you want to add to your program me i go for structure first you know what i'm saying you can go for a color but if you do go for color make sure that it has some structure to it go look at the mom go look at the dad don't go get these merles that look pretty while they little, but then when they get old, man, they looking like Boston Terriers. All right, well, I gotta go. I gotta feed my dogs. They have been very, very, very patient. Hope this video helped. Like the video, meet me in the comment section and let me know how you feel about this topic. Till next time, one love, peace.